All right, a little preview of the XLUMI device. So back here is a new product from Mod Shop Element 18592, uh, which I'm a big fan of, uh, him in general. And uh, this is an RGH3 Trinity motherboard with that device installed. As you can see, we've got a bunch of LEDs around the uh, fan. Nothing too new about that. What is new is the ability to control that from within an app. So if I pop over here to games and remember to insert my USB, I can launch XEX menu. And from XEX menu, I can launch the XLUMI app. And from there, I will be able to control these LEDs. So if we look at the app, we've got a number of options for setting the RGB value directly. But what I really like are these static effect options down here. So what I can do is uh, just to show you that I can indeed control them, I just selected LEDs off, and there they go, they're off. The dynamic pulse is kind of a cool one. It like changes through some colors and blinks on and off. The color wave, I think, was the one I started off with. I really like that one. The uh, static color is what you can set with this. So it's all the way at red right now. If I adjust that down, I could make it all the way green, super green, and then apply those changes and I get green LEDs. Or then if I want to mix in a bit of blue, because everybody knows green and blue make blue, I guess. I don't know, we can make like a deep blue by taking some of the green out of it. Uh, we can apply, it's all pretty cool. So. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, the neat thing about this is no need for an external remote control, no need for, um, you know, like a Wi-Fi controller or super extra expensive LEDs. These are pretty cheap. Um, you get 17 LED ring, you get the little XLUMI board, um, and I believe I will have a product of this on the weekendmodder.com slash store before too long, and a full tutorial video uh, on how to install it and set it up. It does require an RGH or JTAG, something that can run unsigned code. Uh, yes, in theory, you could do it with just bad update. Um, and it does remember uh, what you have it set here to. So if I go ahead and power the console off, uh, it's been my experience, the LEDs will in fact shut down here. Uh, it'll go off with the console. But then when I power the thing back up, um, it will resume that same color. So, pretty neat features and functionality overall. All right, so there it's off. We'll turn it back on, and you can see the LEDs kick back on to where they were. So, I uh, hope you uh, enjoy this little preview, and uh, look for a longer full-length feature video installation in a few days once I get time to uh, edit it and post it. Thanks.